Hello everyone, well it's day six of my advent series. Let's have a look what's in today's advent box. Come on, lift the lid. Oh, and we have a tiny little white box. Well, it is a very, very small box. I'm not sure what it's got to do with vacuum cleaners, but let's open it and have a look. Ah, now that is a small bayonet cap LED bulb. And I have one vacuum cleaner that's crying out for a new headlight bulb. So let's go and get it and fit the bulb. Okay, folks, well, I've got the Hoover 612 out of storage. I haven't done very much to it since the first video, but you'll see what I've done shortly. And I've also got the cleaning tools, which we're going to have a look at later in the video. And of course, I'm going to test this old girl with some real dirt. But before we can do anything else, I need to fit the headlamp to this 612 so it can actually see the dirt that hopefully it will pick up. Okay, first things first, I've got to remove two screws either side here in order to take the hood off. So they're just flat head screws on this, screwed into the metal base plate of this cleaner. It does have a plastic hood, which possibly is Bakelite. I think this dates from the late 40s, mid 50s, that sort of time period, if I remember rightly. From what I was told, right, there's the hood off. And the screws are gonna pop out. Okay, so here's the underneath, underneath the hood, the motor. As I said, I haven't done very much, just given it a wipe, basically. So this is where we need to fit the new bulb, which I have here. So it's just a bayonet fitting, so just Push it in and turn it. So there we go. Let's switch it on, make sure it works. I'm going to switch it on with the hood off, but I'm not going to be anywhere near the electrics. But uh, don't do this at home, folks. Right, that seems okay. We'll let her slow down. So we've got modern day technology fitted to this old vacuum cleaner, seems to work fine and gives off a nice yellow glow like the original bulb would have had. You can get sort of very bright white LED bulbs but they wouldn't look really very suitable in a vintage vacuum. They'd be okay in an 80s vacuum like a Turbo Power or Turbo Master but for an old girl like this you need that sort of comforting sort of yellowy glow that you get from an old sort of bulb. But that's good, that fits fine. If you want those, I got a pack of two, I think, from Amazon. Right, so just got to screw up the hood and then I'll fit a new belt. I got quite a few spare belts with the cleaning tools for this model, so I thought I might as well fit a new one before I do a demo because the one fitted is probably quite stretched. So I'll just pop the agitator back in close the clips either side that's fine and then i need to stretch the belt according to this diagram here so it goes this way around i think let's pull it yes that's it make sure it turns freely close the belt guard and then i need to pop the plate back on otherwise we'll have no suction at the nozzle There we go, let's have a look at the cleaning tools now. So here's the box set of tools I bought on eBay. I think you might have seen this already if you watched one of my live videos. I think I showed it to you briefly then. Let's have a, another look at them. So I believe this is the complete set of cleaning tools that fits this model. It's in pretty good condition. So I've got an extension wand, a curved extension wand, a metal crevice tool that looks almost brand new. You've got a wood and I think Bakelite sort of floor and wall brush. Then we've got the converter. That's your blowing adapter. 
a dusting brush, very soft brushes on that one, an all-purpose brush, and of course, finally, the hose. Earlier on I was having a bit of trouble trying to fit this converter into the side of the machine until I remembered that Sam Watson from the channel Beko 1987 kindly sent me some pictures of his 612 instruction book. So I perused that and realised what I was doing wrong. I was trying to put this converter in without pressing down on the back of the cleaner. So you're supposed to press down on the handle which raises the front of the cleaner you see the wheels are spring-loaded at the back so you press it back like that and then you can slot the converter in and another good thing about this when you've got it converted for above floor cleaning it's automatically raised the brushes off the floor so it's not constantly brushing the carpet so now we've got it the suction converted through here and we can connect the hose like that clicks into place. So now we can use the machine for all our above floor cleaning. Now I'm not sure, I guess you can. You can connect the nozzles directly to the handle here. Or of course, pop on the other handle, the curved part, so I can have it like that. And to the end of that handle, if I want a bit of reach, I can connect the extension wand Again, it just slots in and clicks into place, like that, very secure fitting. And then to dust all my pelmets, which I'd have a lot of fabric pelmets in my 1950s home, I could attach the dusting tool and then dust all my pelmets with that. And I can also do my delicate parquet flooring with the floor brush. But the way that this is set up, You'd, you'd have to be almost lying on the floor to have the brush flat. It's, so if I was to stand up and use it, the brush is hardly touching the floor. It's sort of like that at an angle. So to get the full brush, you'd be like this. You'd have to be on your knees vacuuming or you'd get your maid to do it. But of course, by the time this cleaner was in the shops, maids were sort of not quite a thing of the past, but not many people could afford to employ a maid. So let's uh, have a go of the suction. I'm not expecting great things from this, but you never know. Let's pop those tools to one side. We'll see how powerful this is. Oh, will you look at that? Some selfish one-legged man has been trampling around my tea plantation in the back garden and trodden in some loose leaf tea onto my lovely carpet. Never fear, Hoover is here. Well, hopefully, <laughs> let's see. I don't, I don't think it's gonna do much. I'm gonna do a lot of scrubbing, I think. Let's see if we can remove this nasty footprint. didn't do bad at all it has picked up most of it there's a few stray bits but we're not going to mention those Shh. but all in all not a bad performance from this old girl but that's boring isn't it you want to see how this beast picks up dirt from my carpet using the hoover it beats as it sweeps as it cleans action okay then it's time to get my bag of filth out of retirement Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. Children singing Christian rhymes. Well, there are no children in this house, unless you count me, and the only rhymes we'll be singing are probably Hoover jingles. But anyway, for me, Christmas time is a time for chucking all your filth on your carpet and passing your vintage Hoover 612 through the middle of it to see how well it copes. So, folks, there is quite a lot of dirt, a bit more than I expected to put down, but... I think she's up for it. Let's see. Hmm. 
Right. Doing my little shuffle. My little clean floor shuffle. I don't mind. I'm wearing my Christmas socks. <laughs> now, there was, I have, to be honest, I've done this before. In fact, I've made this complete video before, but I had sound issues because I didn't adjust. Well, I won't tell you why, but anyway, it didn't work out. So I'm having to do everything again. And for some reason, the second time round, it's performed better. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway, there was more of a line of shame. There's no line of shame, but I think that's my sort of fault because I sort of veered a bit to one side when I was pulling the machine back. So that uh, stopped the line that would have been in the middle where the belt is. But uh, wow, for a machine older than I am and and a lot older than most of you watching, probably. <laughs> it hasn't done bad, it's not perfect. But look at the difference. Quite happy to, to kneel on this. I wouldn't be happy to kneel either side of it though. Let's clean the rest of it up, shall we? Ugh. Shall we have some uh, deep down and dirty shots? Shall I put the camera at dirt level and we'll see, uh, see if we can spot any agitation. Well, there you go, folks. For an old lady, she can still pack a punch. Oof. Well, folks, I'm rather moist now because uh, I've got my Christmas jumper on. And of course, I am recording this in the heat of summer in August, in fact. Not really. No, it is December. It's December the um, 6th, I think. Or it could be the 5th. I don't know. It could be the 6th today. Anyway, I'm recording this the, the night before you're seeing it. So uh, I'm rather parched and hot and <clears throat> got a bit of dust on my throat can't think why right that's the end of this video stay tuned lots more different advent videos to come including a big mess test yes i'll be getting out a very big vacuum cleaner and making a heck of a lot of mess all over my lovely clean carpets for your amusement and pleasure hopefully just a couple of things to mention um any parents watching of young vac fans if you want them to have a shout out Go on to my Facebook page and contact me uh, through the messaging system. Tell me a bit about your young VAC fan if they want a shout out about their collection. If you want, put a picture of them with their collection and I'll show it during a shout out video in a couple of weeks on my Advent series. Also, you'll find a link below to my Amazon wish list. Thank you to everyone who's contributed so far. I've got quite a collection of presents upstairs. I'm not opening any of them. All the presents will be opened on my Christmas Day video. So if you've bought me anything from my wish list and you've left me a message on the gift card or the gift receipt, then of course I will thank you personally during the Christmas Day video. But still, lots more Advent videos to come if I survive them. Hope you join me for the next one coming up tomorrow. See you then.